Hello everyone and welcome to Agla Sim School. So today we are going to discuss about the solutions of NCERT Class 7 Science Chapter 1 that is Nutrition in Plants. So before going to the chapter solution, let's discuss the chapter at a glance. So the first terminology that comes in this chapter is autotrophs. What are autotrophs? Autotrophs are the organisms that can produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight and the green pigment called chlorophyll and produces oxygen and glucose. They use this glucose for themselves and release this oxygen to the surroundings. So now let's see what are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are the organisms that cannot make their own food and they depend on autotrophs and other organisms for their food. So let's see what are saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are the organisms or are called saprophytes that depend on the decayed matter or detritus for their food. And let's now know what is, what is symbiosis. Symbiosis is the close relationship between two organisms or species where they depend on each other for their food habit and their living. Like the lichen. Lichen is the combination of yeast and fungi where they depend on each other for food and structure. So now let's see the process of photosynthesis. In the process of photosynthesis, carbon dioxide or CO2 reacts with water or H2O in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll in order to give glucose or C6H12O6 and oxygen where oxygen is released in the air and glucose is utilized by the plant or the autotrophs for their food. So this was all for this chapter. Now let's see the solutions. So the first question is why do organisms take food? And the answer to it will be All living organisms require food to survive. It gives them energy to perform various activities. All activities such as playing, running, walking, studying, etc. requires energy. The various components present in our food such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals provide energy to our body. They are also important for growth and development of our body. The next question is distinguish between a parasite and a saprotroph and the answer to it will be parasites the organism that grows on another organism and derives food from them are known as parasites for example cascata and orchids and saprotrophs saprotrophs are the organisms that obtain nutrients from the dead and decaying matter and the example to them are fungi and some other bacteria and now the question number three how would you test the presence of starch in leaves? For this question, we have to perform an experiment. So experiment to test the presence of starch in leaves is Take two healthy green potted plants of same type. Keep one potted plant in dark room for two to three days in order to remove all the starch from the leaves. Keep the other plant in sunlight. Now take one leaf from each potted plant and put a few drops of iodine solution on them. Then note down the observation. No blue-black color will be observed on the leaves of the plant that is kept in the dark room. This indicates the absence of starch. Blue-black color will be observed on the leaves of the plant kept in the sunlight. This indicates the presence of starch. Now the fourth question. Give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in plants. And the answer to it will be photosynthesis is defined as the process in which the chlorophyll containing plant cells synthesize food in the form of carbohydrates using carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. The sources of raw material required for the process of photosynthesis are water that is taken in from the roots of the plant and is transported to the leaves. Carbon dioxide from the air enters the leaves through the tiny pores called stomata and diffuses to the cell containing chlorophyll. Solar energy or the sunlight is used to break water into hydrogen and oxygen. This hydrogen is combined with carbon dioxide to form food for the plants, which is ultimately used by the animals as well. Thus photosynthesis can be represented by the following equation given on your screen. 
Now the question number five. Show with the help of a sketch that plants are the ultimate source of food. In this labeled sketch, you can see on your screen. Now question number six. Fill in the blanks. A. Green plants are called dash since they synthesize the, their own food. And the answer to it will be green plants are called autotrophs since they synthesize their own food. B. The food synthesized by the plant is called as dash. The food synthesized by the plant is called as starch. Now question number C. In photosynthesis, solar energy is captured by the pigment called dash. And the answer will be, in photosynthesis, the solar energy is captured by the pigment called chlorophyll. Now D. During photosynthesis, plants take in dash and release dash gas. And the answer to it will be, during photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen gas. Now let's move to question number 7. Name the following. A parasitic plant with yellow slender and branch stem. And the answer will be cascata. Question number 2. A plant that is partially autotropic. And the answer will be pitcher plant. Now question number 3. The pores through which leaves exchange gases. And the answer will be stomata. Now let's move to question number 8. Take the correct answer. The question is, cascata is an example of. The options are autotrops, parasites, saprotrop or host. And the answer will be parasite. B. The plant which traps and feeds on insects is. The options are cascata, china rose, pitcher plant and rose. And the answer will be pitcher plant. Now let's move to question number 9. Match the items given in column 1 with those in column 2. And the matching will be chlorophyll, leaf, nitrogen, bacteria, amarbel, parasite, animals, heterotrophs, and insects, pitcher plant. Now let's move to question number 10. Mark T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. 1. Carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis which is false because oxygen gas is released during photosynthesis and carbon dioxide is used as a raw material during the process of photosynthesis. Now for question 10 part 2. Plants which synthesize their food are called saprotrophs. This is also false because plants which synthesize their own food are called as autotrophs. Now part 3. The product of photosynthesis is not a protein. This is true because the product of photosynthesis is a carbohydrate. Now let's move to part 4. Solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis. This is also true. Now let's move to question number 11. Choose the correct option for the following. Which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis? And the options given are root hair, stomata, leaf veins and sepals. And the answer will be stomata. Question number 12. Choose the correct option from the following. Plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their options are roots, stem, flowers or leaves. And the answer will be leaves. Now let's move to the last question that is question number 13. Why do farmers grow many fruit and vegetable crops inside large greenhouses? What are the advantages of the farmers? And the answer to it will be Greenhouse provides favorable condition for the crops, like it gives always favorable temperature. Farmers get many advantages like the crop grows well. It also protects it from high blowing wind and rodents. So students, this was all for this chapter. Hope you like this video and if you did, then don't forget to like it and share with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more such updates and videos. If you still have any doubts regarding this chapter, then you can ask us by writing in the comment section below. We will surely get back to you. And for more such NCRT's videos, hit the bell icon. We'll be back. Till then, bye-bye.